Hey guys, this is Akachi Films and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to blur a license plate in DaVinci Resolve 18. I've been gone for a while, but hopefully I will start to upload more videos consistently. Don't forget that if you guys want to see more videos like this or have any suggestions, please let me down in the comments. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Let's get started. So I already have my clip in the timeline and the process might be a little bit different for you, but the concept is the same. So now what do I mean by that? The clip that I want to blur is between five to six seconds long. The problem with my clip is that I'm driving in closer to the license plate. It's not like one big license plate that I want to blur or it's not easy. Uh, the quality of the camera doesn't help me as well so it might be kind of difficult for me but now if you guys are doing like a commercial or have the license plate up close it's gonna be easy but in case if that's not easy i'm going to be showing you guys how to do that so let's go to our color tab and let's go to our uh right here what's it called to our window now instead of me starting from frame zero let's actually close this we want to start i want to start where my license plate is big enough so this may be where the license plate is big enough so i could track it at least so i want to go into my pen tool right here and just with your left click grab the four corners boop 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 and track uh right here we have our tracking window so now i'm going to be doing it by frame because i personally like doing it by frame uh but if you guys want to do it with clip it's all up to you uh i'm gonna just changes a bit and we're good so now there's different ways you guys can track this we have our track reverse so that's what i'm going to be doing we have a track forward and reverse so it's going to go towards the frame zero and then back to the frame that it ends and then we have our track forward depending on where you have this uh timeline place i have it like in the middle so i'm actually going to do track uh, reverse so that's what i'm going to be doing like i said you guys don't really have to you guys could do track forward and reverse it's really up to you but i'm going to be doing it as track reverse why because my license plate is bigger there instead of frame number zero where my license plate is literally like this small so we are going to be doing it is reversing is reversing and voila so this is a problem that i have like this is my square and it's just it's not good it's not good like up to here which is kind of like halfway from the time so what i'm going to be doing is right here clicking this keyframe we adjusting it and then track backwards again so i'm going to be repeating this process until this square actually matches a license plate try this hopefully for you guys when you guys track this is not a big hassle but if it is just repeat this process and surely enough, it will work. So one more time, right? I'm gonna go where I think it's kind of odd, which is right here. Add a keyframe with my left click and holding it, just drag these. Make sure to keep holding that left click. Don't do anything else. And go back again. And of course, I'm gonna be repeating this process. So I will be right back when I actually fit my whole license plate a few moments later all right so i'm back and it didn't really take me that long it probably took me like two minutes but i just didn't want you guys to just stick for those two minutes if we go right here and it's basically tracking the whole license plate now nice and clean uh we are gonna go keep going just to make sure that's actually tracked nicely and yeah right here it should stop right here because we have no other uh, if anything, we could do this forward. There you go. So this is this keyframe should be like the last keyframe where I see my license plate. Now there's two ways to blur it. One way is by going right here to the blur, and all you literally have to do is just raise it up. And as you can see, it's blurred already. So that's one way how to do it. Like I said, I'm gonna re repeat it one more time. You just go to this blur right here, go to radius, and increase it. That's it. That's literally, that's all you have to do. Another way, and I like to do this way, is go to your effects, search a blur, and there's many more blurs right here. We got box blur, directional blur, Gaussian blur, lens blur, right? I'm gonna be using this blur, putting it in my uh, node right here, 
and I can now adjust this however I want uh, personal preference at this point I just feel that in this effects there's more options and let's say you don't want to blur and put something else go ahead be my guest that's why I prefer this effects uh, than this radius blur but like I said it doesn't really matter if you guys want to change up like the borders and everything like that you guys could always go right here to the transform softness raise it up a bit inside a bit now if we go back to our timeline full screen you guys can see we have our blurred license plate and no one is going to know what license plate the vehicle has hopefully i explained the video properly if you guys have any questions please let me down in the comments and i will respond to you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did don't forget to please subscribe and hit the button and see you guys later see you guys